So we are going to be working in like three, two, one. Um, I have one piece of paper left, guys. That's it for my mink. I love. Sorry, I gotta order more before the next catalog or before this catalog leaves. Now remember, we have uh, an overlap in the catalogs this year, which is pretty cool. Um, so I have mink for my base page. I know it kind of looks really kind of shiny. Sorry. Glare this morning, I guess. Okay, so mink is my base pages. Let's see if we can try to adjust this so that maybe it doesn't glare as much. I'm going to be using sapphire as my mats, and we're going to be cutting scarlet, papaya, and the mink a love story. Okay, so I I think what I'm going to do is we're going to do, I'm trying to think of what I want, I don't want these two, so I'm going to get two double layouts out of this one sheet of paper, that's why I'm doing a 432 is because, yeah, I want the double, I want to get as much out of this paper as I can, I'm just going to move my sapphire and my mink aside for the moment, so let's bring in our paper trimmer, so to do a 321, you are going to do three inch on this on one sheet all the way across so i'm going to do a six then i'm going to put it together and do a three and this way i'm cutting very minimally right this is a very easy way if you guys need to scrap up really fast this is a really good way of doing it okay Again, sort of similar. I'm going to do four inches here. Okay. I'm going to do four inches again. And I have these back to back. So two fours and now two twos. So with my remaining four, I'm just going to slide it over and do two inches and cut this thing in half. Okay, so I have two four inches and two two inches of the scarlet and mink love story, and I have four three inch papers of the papaya. So this is how it goes. Let's swap these. Let's see, this is where it gets its name four three two. Easy peasy, right? These come together so fast. So I'm going to just stick my trimmer right here. I took all of my coordinating cardstock out for this for today because I was thinking that I may need some more. Well, actually, I need my trimmer again. We need to do all of our mats. So for the, the primary page, the left page, my title page, I'm trying to keep it on the title page. And my title page is going to be a bit different this time, but I'm going to do a, uh, let's do four, four by sixes. Okay, so this is a six inch. There's one. Two, three. I need four out of this one. One more. Fourth. Now I'm going to do three inch and a three inch. I need nine of these. I have so many photos, guys, for this month. We did so much this month. And so much happened this month. So there's four. I need five more of those. So let's do another six inch off of here. Actually, you know what? Let me let me take a look. Um, I know I have it around here. That's my pack for this. Okay, so here's this. Oh, you know what? I used the wrong color, guys. I thought it was sapphire. It is not. It is harbor that I've been using. I just now noticed that I have harbor sitting here. Well, I have mats for another project. Let's get some hardware. Good thing I pulled that stuff out, right? Huh? 
Let's try this again. There's Harbor. Oh boy. I do like Sapphire and that's probably why I thought I chose Sapphire. I think I do that just about every week. Or every time I do this scrapbook. Which is every month, not every week. Okay, let's do this again. Now I could always pull my bar out and use that too, but I think this will be just fine. And then let's do some three by threes. Okay. And I'm going to need five more. So let's just cut this in. You know what? That's why I looked in this paper pack is to see if I had an extra harbor. Well, it was originally sapphire, but this way I don't have to cut a full harbor down. Okay, let's do. Let's cut this one in half. And three. That worked out well. That was a six inch piece. Worked out really well. So I now have one, two, three, four. Should have eight. They're sticky. There we go. There's my eight. So I just need one more, really. I get two more. That's okay. Maybe I'll use it. I don't know yet. I only printed enough for nine, I think. Okay, let's pull Mink in. Okay. So we have four sheets of Mink, I think. Yep, there we go. Well, yep. I think those are all mink. Okay. So somewhere on the dark and light side. Okay. There's my sheet. Center that for you guys. Alright, this is how I'm gonna do my well. I'm really discompopulated this morning. Sorry, guys. Very disorganized. Okay. I want that one. So this will be... Now remember, I can get two layouts. So I can do... I've been staying pretty darn current. But you never know, right? And I may want to ink this, the edges of this, but I don't want two fours. That is right. That's what I wanted. This is kind of how I wanted it set up. Something like this. Just don't know if I want it totally centered like across. I'm not so sure about that. But I am going to. So I'm just going to play around with this because this is kind of how I envisioned it, but I don't really know if I like it. If that makes sense. Get three quarter inch difference. That should do it. I'm going to do these in a box. It's going to be three quarter inch on either side. More or less. Now what I'm really excited about is we have a T ruler coming. 
in our new catalog. It isn't here yet. So if you've been looking for a tea ruler, your search can be over. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I do like this, but I, I'm afraid I'm going to cover it up. My title. But I think if I move it down, it's going to get lost too. So I think centered is the way to do it on this one. For that portion anyway. Do I really want it like that? I don't know. Or do I want something like, like this? I do want this centered because I really do like this centered. Um, because I think I'll lose it if I don't. Let's just roughly do this. Ooh, I like that better. I think that'll be really pretty, actually, if we cover all that up. I like that the best. Do that. I'm going to use liquid glue today. That's the best thing about liquid glue is you can move it up, you can move it around before you squish it down. Now for the big one, this is the four inch strip. Now I can always put a zip strip on here too. And a lot of people do. And most of the time I do for a four, three, two. But we'll see. I can always add it later too. Because of where I'm gonna add it. If I add a zip strip, it's gonna go on the edge over here. It's going to go right here. And again, I'm coming in three quarter inch everywhere. On all four sides for my mats. And these are all four by six. So I I usually trim my photos down to match or so that they go down so that they can be a quarter inch shorter on each side. But um, and I probably will this time this way. I do have a mat. Wait, there's an eighth of an inch showing of the the harbor. And usually photos, if you trim it a quarter inch on two sides, then it's not taking that much off and it's not really that pertinent. Some of them might be, 
I'll have to look because some of them get pretty close to where I need them to be. <laughs> um, the ones my daughter and son, they kind of, they go, one's way far over, one's on the opposite side, so just have to make sure that we don't cut their face off one way or another. I'd rather cut feet than face, so we will try to cut accordingly. Okay, so there's this, this side. I'm going to put the title in the middle. I'm going to try my hardest not to hide all of this pretty paper, though, because that's, that's where my pretty paper is. Now, what I might do, I should have probably switched it. It's for my other half, the other page. Let's just grab another mink. And I can play around with it. Because... That one, we're going to use the same pieces, and then the other pieces will be used for another page later on, right? That'll probably be July's page. We'll probably put fireworks all over that one, because it was 4th of July, and we did a lot. So what I can do is, for the, the associated page, make it go this way and put the red over here and that's probably what I'll do but you can always turn them around too right and make them go opposite directions which is fine too but I think that's probably what I'll do is just make them totally opposite and that it's always in my brain to make them opposite and then I get to glue in and I just get into a habit of doing it the same that I did before. Luckily this one I can rotate. <laughs> Doesn't really matter because everything is centered or right on the edge. There's my three inch piece. There's my two inch piece. And my four. So even if I put it over here, it's okay. But I'm going to try my hardest to do it over here this time. Now, this requires all of my little guys. I cut. So these are three inch by three inch. And we're just going to lay them out and see what might do two, two. We'll just see what happens. I don't know what we're going to do yet. I'm just playing. See, and I could even do like four up here and have them popped up or even five but there's my nice grid that I was thinking about doing but I don't know if I really like it that layered I'm trying to see it with this page next to it yeah I probably should because the other one's really Kind of perfectly spaced too. I don't know. Either that I have these two hugging the center over here, and then I have all of this for journaling and titling, and that actually 
I kind of like it. Embellishing, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I got a little in the way, huh? Yeah, I think my video is done. I will keep you informed of what I do. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you on Wednesday. Have a great weekend. Bye.